What's up guys, Commonwealth Snow here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart a Sky Plus HD box and retrieve the hard drive from it. Now, you might have one of these at home, Sky Q is quite a popular thing now, so you might have one of these lying around. Um, this is just something you can do to get a bit more value out of it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using the hard drive for anything critical, because, you know, these hard drives are quite old by now, and they haven't exactly had the best life. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's take this thing apart. These things are made quite unintuitively to take apart. We'll do our best, shall we? Alright, so we want to take apart these two screws here. And then what we can do is pull up these clips that are on the bottom. Get rid of this warranty sticker. Don't think we'll be needing that anymore. And then what we can do with the clips pulled up is we can slide these silver panels outwards. There we go. Now what we can do is pull this uh, black clip here, pull it up, and then the whole metal casing inside of this kind of plastic shell should slide out. Before you slide it out, I forgot to mention what you should do, uh, just to prevent any annoyances later, is pull this uh, little flap down and take your Sky viewing card out. Pop that thing back in. This one is a bit a bit fiddly if you couldn't tell. But since we won't be using this sky box again, it doesn't matter too much if you snap a few plastic clips on the box. Now, next step is this front kind of uh, panel. If you can see here, we have these little metal clips. Now, I don't know what Sky were doing, but instead of having screws for most of the bits, they have these little metal clips. So it does make it a bit more of a, a pain to take it apart, especially if you wanted to uh, actually use it again. If you wanted to, for example, change the hard drives, uh, it does make it a bit more of a challenge in case you break one or two. I suppose it doesn't really matter if you do break one or two, as long as they're not all broken. And now we're going to want to just pull these uh, ribbon cables out. Like I say, we we'll are be using this again, so... Whichever way works for you. This uh, clip here, this little black clip. I want to just lift it up, press it in, and then the board should come out nicely. There we go. Now, with the front PCB off, we now want to get this top sh uh, kind of cover off. Now this cover is held in by, yet again, more bent tabs. So what we can do is grab a set of pliers and just bend these back like so. There's two on each end. And with the tabs off, you can just pop that right off. Now, we're into the juicy bit. Uh, this is the inside of the box. Uh, we have our hard drive here, which is what we want to get to. So to get to that, we need to take off this top PCB. Now, there is one screw and a couple uh, rear I.O. holding it in. So you want to grab a Phillips head screwdriver and locate the one screw on here that's holding it in. Here it is. This one here. Some of them can be tighter than others. Now we need to head to the, to the back. And what we need to do here is we need to take off these two tabs 
and these two uh, washers and nuts. Now we'll start off with the VGA connector. Get to go with the pliers. You just want to turn it a bit with the pliers, loosen it up a bit, and then it should be trivial, trivial to unscrew it with your fingers. There's no need for any fancy equipment with this disassembly, which is quite nice. Oh, as long as you don't plan on using it again. And now we're going to take off these nuts and washers. Again, using the pliers. These ones can be a bit, a bit tough to get. I've disassembled a few of these today. So, but then, like the VGA connector, as soon as you get it going, it's quite trivial to finish the job off. Okay, so one thing we need to do, I kind of forgot about this, is we need to take off these cables, just to make it a bit easier to get them out of the way. So we can pull up that cable, pull up the SATA cable, power cable down here. This is for the hard drive. Um, just pull this out. The rest of these connectors. And then they hold them by this zip tie here. Um, so we grab there some scissors. You can just cut that bad boy right off. And then we can bend these cables out of the way. So now the piece of the resistance to get this damn PCB off without making too much of a mess. Yet again, another thing I forgot. The screw up of the HDMI port. As well as the screw here. You know, it's, it's a bit confusing between how many clips there are and how many screws there are. I don't see why they didn't just choose one or the other. But there you go. Now it's just a matter of trying to squeeze it out of here. There we go. Disconnect the little fan connector. Easy as pie. Now, we're getting to the juicy bits now. The hard drive. It's quite easy to get this one out. The hardest bit's over. I think getting that PCB out was the hardest, hardest bit of this thing. So we have some Phillips head screws here. We just need to take all three of those out. And some of the other boxes I've taken apart. These ones are quite stiff, so your mileage may vary. These ones seem quite loose though, so we should be all right. Mm. All right, this one's different than the rest of them than the rest of the ones I've taken apart. This one has a brace on both sides. So, um, yeah, here we have some we have some clips here. I'm not sure if you can see. We have some clips there and there and a screw in the middle. So we want to just bend those back. That's the thing with these clips. If you bend them just a little bit out of place. It can be a real pain in the ass to get them out. See, the only thing stopping this from moving now is that clip. If you can see that, it's bent just in the middle. It's going to be a pain to get that straighten out. But we'll see. And with a bit more persuasion, with brute force, we got it out. Now we can disconnect these these cables, power cable and SATA cable. And now we have the hard drive. This one in particular is a 500 gigabyte Seagate drive. So not too bad, not too bad. Um, the What normally happens is this brace will actually be uh, on here like this, on the drive, so you'd have uh, two braces. Um, this just comes off, it's just stuck on with adhesive tape. Um, and then this one, which is the only one I've encountered taking apart these skyboxes, uh, is just in with two two screws. 
So just unscrew that. And there we go. You now have a desktop 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drive uh, of varying degrees of quality. So your mileage will definitely vary in using this. I wouldn't use this for more than, I don't know, maybe CCTV. See uh, at the bottom here, date of manufacture, 2011. This thing's ten years over ten years old, so I wouldn't I wouldn't trust it with very much. But you know, if you're just looking for some cheap storage, or you have just one of these lying about, I wouldn't go out of my way to go buy one to try get some cheaper storage. But um, you know, the option's always there. So thank you very much for watching this takedown of a skybox. Um, if you did enjoy the video and found it helpful, please click please click the like button. Check out some of my other stuff. We normally do Linux videos around here. Bit of technology. Have a nice day, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.